Yo dudes! Welcome to a delicious world-class vegan cheesecake. So this is a San Sebastian cheesecake. Um, my wife is Polish. My kids, when we go to Poland, will often eat their grandmother's sernik, which is a Polish cheesecake, and they adore it. When I brought this home, they adored it. This is a rocking, delicious, elegant cheesecake. It's baked, it is yum. Here we go. Okay, first step, we're gonna make our delicious base. We are going to add 160 grams of digestive biscuits into the food processor and pulse them until they reach a nice crumb. Make sure they're vegan. Yeah, make sure they're vegan. 90 grams of melted vegan butter and one tablespoon of sugar. So we've taken an eight inch spring form, which I believe is approximately 20 centimeters. 20 Four, I think, isn't it? Anyway, eight Something inches. Like that. Anyway, we've lined the base and the sides. Really important step, because it just means it's much easier to remove when your baked cheesecake looks incredible and you want to mind it. Yeah. Okay, we're going to take our base, pop it in, and just compact it smoothly. So in a traditional San Sebastian cheesecake, there is no base, however, to me, a cheesecake just goes so well with a digestive bake base. Mm. So if you don't like digestive, leave it out. You can make a short crust pastry. You could have no base. This but for base us, is delicious. You're it's getting class. This, you're getting a crumbly, crispy, sweet that just contrasts so well from the creaminess. Yeah. It's worth delicious. doing it this way. Okay, time for our filling. This is real straightforward. We're gonna put all ingredients for the filling in less the cream cheese. So first step, we have 500 grams of silk and tofu. 200 grams of full fat coconut cream. So we took one full fat tin of coconut milk and just scooped nothing but the cream off the top. 120 grams of vegan butter, so that's the firm vegan butter. 135 grams of white sugar. 45 grams of cornstarch. A teaspoon of vanilla extract. Juice and zest of one lemon. Pop the lid on and blend until super smooth. This will take kind of a minute or two. And then we're gonna add in our vegan cream cheese. I have 120 grams of vegan cream cheese. I'm gonna add that in and blend till super smooth. Texture is so important here, so give it the time in your food processor until it's silky smooth. So we blended wow. that for about five minutes in total. Really important just to get that silky smooth texture. Okay, this is the fun bit. We're gonna go for a high pour here. Mmm, my God, that's like ice cream. Okay, the texture is just sensational. This is like- it, it tastes like ice cream, like really beautiful vanilla ice cream. Like that's rich. It's sublime. Anyway, we've preheated the oven to 170 degrees. We're gonna bake this on the middle rack for approximately an hour until it kind of goes nice and firm on the top. It kind of brown. It kind of goes nice and almost like um, pastiche de nat that looks on the top. And so we'll like, probably turn it halfway just so both sides get cooked together. Yeah, just level out the top in the oven, bake for an hour, 170 degrees Celsius. Boom. Okay, cake has been baking for about an hour and it's piping hot in here. Really important step of this cake is to let it set. And to do that, it does take time. It'll take ideally overnight if you can wait, because uh, then it really sets, because otherwise you're gonna be like chopping it, it might goo all over. So like, give it time. This is a or, beautiful cake. Or else what I'll sometimes do is I'll leave it cool and then I'll put it in the fridge for a couple hours. So very important step. Okay, now to make our delicious berry topping. Okay, so I've got a pan, I'm gonna put it in a high heat. Okay, for our whole strawberry glaze, we have 450 grams of frozen or thawed strawberries. Make sure obviously the green part is off. Next step, we have 50 grams of white castor sugar, or sugar of choice. We have five ml of lemon juice, so that's just a little tiny squeeze of lemon juice. Finally, we're sieving in six grams of cornstarch. That's just gonna thicken it and make it kind of jammy and quick and easy to work with. So smell is class. You're looking for this kind of delicious glazed strawberry look. It'll probably take about five minutes. It's very simple to make and it just, when you do chop into the cheesecake, you just get those drips of strawberry those cooling, of dripping of down. That's so perfect. Kind of yummy deliciousness. Okay, so it's piping hot now, right? If we pour it onto our cake, which this is one we made earlier, uh, it will kind of burn Melt out. It. It's a bit like molten lava. So we're gonna pour it into another saucepan and just let it cool. Okay, while the coolie is where the, the berry glaze is cutting down, we are going to carefully take this cake out of the spring. Okay, I love the side of this cake. Wait, do you see it? It's lovely and kind of charred and baked. Look, 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 look. See, there's look the big that. reveal. Oh, woo! So it's a really beauty. nice cheesecake. Okay, moment of truth. Here we go. Cake is ready. Here we go. Oh, I love this bit. Are you ready? Oh, Are you ready? Oh, okay, sorry, I shouldn't be pointing a knife at you, but this looks beautiful. Really I nice. adore this cake. 
And wait till you... I know you can't really taste it, but it's quite understated. Okay, wait till you try it. Okay, you ready? There's nothing understated about this. This looks all singing, all dancing. Look at that. Jeez, that is just textbook. Like that's, uh, that's textbook there now. That's 10 look out of that, 10. Look at that, look, look, look in there. Look deep in there. It just looks fabulous. Like what a beautiful cake. Ah, oh, this is okay. I'll get you to in there. I think you deserve it. I'm gonna go with a little four actually. Do Here we go, you ready? San Sebastian, gracias. Uh, sorry, I can't speak Castellano. This is I can't just... speak uh, Basque, I have to speak Castellano. Super rico. Gracias. Okay, this one's for you. Look at that. It, just, it texture, smells sublime. The texture is beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's boiled, isn't it? Like it really is like proper. Like, that's a cheesecake. That's really, really elegant, delicious. And do you know what I love about it? I love the biscuity, biscuity base. Biscuity, bis. Buttery biscuit bag. <laughs> yeah, the creamy buttery biscuit bag. Okay, anyway. Delicious, really, really good. Um, yeah. There you have it. Delicious. Link to full recipe down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing to this channel. Um, well, yeah, we really appreciate it. We've got a vegan baking course if you want to learn more. Uh, it teaches you, we, we've broken down all vegan, the science, the technology, the tricks, all the hacks that we've learned from 15 years of being vegan bakers, amongst many things. So anyway, thanks to you. Wishing you a wonderful day and uh, cheers. Cheers.